Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share a favorites video with you guys today. I have not done a favorites video in quite some time and the reason I don't do them all of the time is because I feel like I need to have a decent amount of things to share. I usually aim for about 10 items to share with you guys so I don't always have that many things to talk about because I do not consume or purchase or try new things that often every single month. So in January, I did have a lot of fun new things, obviously, because of Christmas. And a couple of these items you may have seen on my what I got for Christmas video. I'm not sure, but maybe a couple of them are from that video. So <laughs> just in case you've seen it before, now at least I can talk about it and let you know how I have enjoyed it over the last month. If you are new to my channel, I would love to invite you to subscribe. We have a lot of fun content over here and I really hope that you will consider becoming a subscriber and please like this video at the end if you do enjoy these types of monthly favorite videos or seasonal favorites or my random whenever I have something to share <laughs> favorites video. Okay, let's get started. So you may have noticed more recently, I have been kind of like curling the sides of my hair. I typically straighten my hair all of the time, but I thought it would be nice to have like a little bit of body to it. And I only put a couple of curls in this morning, but for Christmas, I got this curling iron called Lange. L-A-N-G-E, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this curling iron is amazing. I honestly have never been able to curl my hair because I always burn it. I always make it kind of crinkly, like there's a bump in it and it's not like a nice smooth curl. If you know what I'm talking about, if you are also challenged by curling irons, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it starts to get kind of frizzy at the ends because I keep it in for too long. It's just never ever been a thing that I have been able to do my whole life. I've never been able to decently curl my hair until I got this curling iron for Christmas. So I still need to straighten my hair. This is supposed to both straighten and curl, but my hair is really frizzy and it has just really kinky curls kind of. So I need to use my other straightening iron to get it nice and smooth. But then this does an amazing job curling your hair. So what I like about it is there are all of these different settings so you can make it as hot as you need to. But if you see that little thing right there, that's a fan and that is the game changer because there is a fan blowing while you're curling your hair. So I never really have to worry about keeping it in too long and burning my hair because the fan is circulating the heat so that you don't actually end up burning off your hair. So highly recommend if you are looking for a great curling iron and again like today i did it very simple i just put like a couple of curls on each end just to give it a little bit of body but i can keep it in longer and curl it tighter to make it more curly so it's just it's great i'm really really loving this highly highly recommend if i can find a link for any or all of these items i will leave them below so that you guys can check them out as well the next item is a game that we have been playing as a family a lot lately. It is called OK Boomer. I don't remember if I've ever talked about this before on my channel. Possibly I have, I don't know. But since we have spent a lot of time together as a family throughout the holidays and we spent some time at our lake house with family and with grandparents and with younger children, this is such a fun game because it spans through all of the different generations. So basically there are five different categories and the category and the categories are silent generation, baby boomers, Generation X, that's me, Millennials, and Generation Z. So here are all of the different generations. And every generation has a series of cards that have a bunch of different questions on each card. So you pick the category that you want to answer. So you can pick Silent Generation, you can pick Generation X, whatever category you choose, you have to win one of each category. So you need to win like one card from Generation Z, one from Millennials, one from Baby Boomers. Whoever gets every single card, like gets a question right on each card first wins. And it's so funny because the questions are, <laughs> like you don't realize how your children don't 
know certain things, like completely don't know anything about it. For instance, one of the questions was, what is leg warmers? Like, what are leg warmers? And there were so many of our family members who had no idea, like, what is a leg warmer? What does that even mean? It was just really funny. Um, what is a boob tube? <laughs> so probably um, most people even younger than myself, like millennials, I guess my daughter's considered a millennial, had no idea, like, what is a boob tube? So it's, it's really funny, and it's a great game to play with the grandparents and with even younger kids because there's questions about things like TikTok and, <laughs> and Instagram and stuff like that. So it's just a lot of fun, and everyone in the family can really have a great time playing it. Okay, the next thing that I have is actually a birthday gift that my husband received. This is a foot massager by a company called Neck Tech, and he received this as a gift from a friend, and the whole family has been trying this thing out, and I have to say it is amazing. I definitely would love one of these for myself. I think that most people would really enjoy having it. I usually don't go for this kind of stuff, these like self-massaging machines and the back pads that massage and like all of those things, I usually just don't care for them. Even at the nail salon way back in the day when I used to go before COVID, <laughs> I used to sit in those chairs that had like the balls that would run up and down your back and they would massage you and they would like kind of, they would kind of, why can't I talk? They would kind of grab you like by the neck and pinch in here and it just, I didn't like it. It was too intense for me. But this is amazing. It gives you the best foot massage. It also heats up, which is really cool. And I just think it's really a great thing. Like Valentine's Day is coming up. I think this would be a great gift for anyone as like a Valentine's Day gift because it is really relaxing and easy to use and it doesn't hurt. It's just, it's nice. Um, just trust me. It's really nice. I totally think that anyone would enjoy it. A couple of you guys have reached out to me saying that you missed my book videos, which makes me so excited because you guys know how much I enjoyed sharing content about books on my channel, but I kind of stopped doing it because I really didn't have very many people that seemed interested enough to watch. And since I was having a hard time just finding time to sit down and film videos, I um, just kind of stopped doing that one because it was really, really time consuming and I didn't see that there was a lot of interest in it. But I thought it would be fun to share in my favorites videos some of my favorite books that I read in the past month. So when I do favorites videos, I will likely include some of the books. So definitely watch my favorite videos if you are interested in reading. And before I get into the books that I read, I want to let you know how much I love having the Kindle. And you guys know I am all about my book collection. I have a beautiful variety of books that I've collected over the last couple of years. And I belong to Book of the Month Club and I still love getting physical books. I don't think that's something that will ever change for me. I really do just love having a book. But the convenience of having this little teeny tiny, very lightweight Kindle is amazing. I can throw this in my purse. I can travel with this without having a bunch of big bulky books. So this is great for a vacation. It's just so, so wonderful. And I really, really have enjoyed having it a lot more than I thought I would. I really thought you could never break me from always having to have a physical book. And one of the things that I really like about this as well is I bought a cover for it. So this just makes it easier to hold onto. I feel like it was kind of slippery when I just didn't have it in a case but it's waterproof guys. You can take this to the beach. You can take this in the tub with you. I don't know how well it would do completely submerged in water for a very long time, but they do advertise it as maybe like water resistant. So I think if you dropped it in the tub or if you dropped it in the ocean, it would be okay. Don't take my word on it, but I that's what I got from what I have read about it. And also I love that you can just have an endless variety of books. I belong to Kindle Unlimited, so I get so many books for free, but I think it's like $10 a month that you pay. But the amount of books that I get for that amount of money is really not bad. 
And I also like that you have the ability to highlight certain paragraphs or phrases. There's always like a sentence that I wanna highlight and remember and it keeps it all organized for you. So I, I really love it. But we'll get into a couple of the books that I read because one of them is actually on my Kindle. And basically you swipe up, it's like on a screensaver and you swipe up and it wakes it up. And this is the book that I read over the holiday. It's called Allie and B by Katherine Ryan Hyde. And this is such a beautiful story. My mom told me about this book. She happened to stumble upon it because she does also have Kindle Unlimited. And it was one of the free books that you could read with that subscription. And it's about a young girl who's a teenager and an older woman. And they both have these stories where just like everything in their life went wrong and they are down on their luck the young girl ends up finding herself in a foster home, although she led a very privileged life with parents who were rich and took good care of her and they went on fancy vacations and lived in this big, beautiful home. Anyway, her world falls apart when her parents get arrested for something. And she finds herself in foster care and in some really bad and scary situations. And she ends up basically on the street with nowhere to go and in a lot of trouble, scary, dangerous trouble. And she's a good kid. It's just that everything went wrong for her. So that is Allie. Now we have an older woman named B, and she's much older. She lives, I think, in a trailer park. I think she lives in a trailer or a very small home. And she just runs out of money. She gets scammed. She is just naive to the ways of the world. And she ends up finding herself completely broke and unable to pay any bills. So she is also down on her luck and in a really bad place. Her husband had passed away. She's all alone. She doesn't know what she's going to do or how she's going to survive. So you have these two women who have completely different obviously ages they're they're so you know far apart in age one is a teenager and the other is i think well into her 70s and they meet and they learn to kind of navigate the world and their situations together and they bond this they just have this amazing bond this amazing relationship and they genuinely change each other's lives around completely and it's one of those books that actually makes you emotional and it's one of those books that just sits with you. Like you feel like you know the characters so well and I love it, I love it. So definitely highly recommend. I don't think there were any spoilers in there. I was just basically letting you know how they met and you know, a lot of really amazing things happen to both of them on this grand adventure <laughs> that they kind of go through together. Another book that I read that was pretty amazing is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I had this book on my TBR for almost an entire year. I really, really wanted to read this so bad. And it's just, it's such a unique story. So it takes place, I think it's in the 1700s. I think it's the 1700s. And Addie is being forced to marry a man that she does not love because that's just like the way things go back in the day, right? Your parents tell you who you're going to marry and you kind of have to do it and it's all about money and social status and things like that. And Addie wants no part of it. She is willing to do absolutely anything to get herself out of this situation. She does not want to be married. She wants to see the world. She wants to go on grand adventures. She just has all of the stuff that she wants to do and she doesn't want a husband tying her down, especially someone that she does not love. So basically what she ends up doing is selling her soul to the devil kind of a situation. And she gets to live forever um, until she's ready to hand over her soul. So when, when she's done living forever and doing and seeing all of the things and then she can you know, and then she can, I guess, die and hand her soul over, but she can live as long as she wants to. She has that luxury. But the glitch is 
no one will ever, ever remember her. So she cannot have relationships with anyone. She can't have a friend. She can't buy a house. She can't keep a job because you will have a conversation with her. And if you look away and look back at her again, you have no idea who she is. It's, it's like you just saw her for the first time. So she has to navigate through her life in that situation until one day something happens and it's just such a great story i really really enjoyed it it's a little bit dark it's also um very entertaining you learn a lot about different characters and different people that she meets along the way and i just thought it was really really well done i'm just gonna have a sip of my smoothie because that is the next thing on my favorites for the month I wanna share this smoothie recipe with you. It's probably a very basic recipe that most people have done before, but this is what I have been drinking almost every day and it's so good. So I thought it was worth sharing. And also this is my new favorite cup that I've been using from Starbucks with the Pretty Mermaid on it. Um, although this wasn't really supposed to be included as part of the favorites, it is my current <laughs> favorite tumbler that I've been drinking out of. But this recipe is so quick and easy. It's basically, about a cup of fruit, but what I like to use is the high in vitamin C, the combination of, I think it's strawberries and pineapple and peaches. I'm not even sure what all else is in there, but I get this bag from Walmart and it has all mixed fruits that's high in vitamin C. So I put in about a cup of that and then I do about a half cup, maybe a little bit more of strawberry yogurt, just because I love the flavor of strawberry. I use my favorite pressed coconut water. It has to be the pressed coconut. It's just creamier and sweeter and it's so good. So I'll fill up my cup to the max line. I'm not sure how many ounces that is. I think it's probably about 16 ounces. That's what my Starbucks cup fits, I'm pretty sure. So I fill it up to that amount and then I just use my bullet and blend it up pour it in my cup and it's just a great, usually like a late morning snack. It doesn't usually fill me as a full meal for breakfast, but it has a lot of nutrients in it and it's so good and refreshing and I highly recommend it. So I thought today as I was making it this morning before the video, I was like, I have to include this on my favorites because this has been my favorite drink for like a year now. <laughs> so I thought I would share that with you. Okay, something else that I have really been liking a lot, and I never felt the need to do this until more recently, my gray hairs come in so fast. I don't know if it's because it's the winter and my hair is growing more quickly. Also, my hair is naturally very dark, so when I do have it colored, I match it to my natural color, and it's just more obvious when gray hairs come in because my hair is so dark. So I found this, it's a color touch-up spray. It's by a company called DPU. And I think I found this on Sephora. It's dark brown and it's a spray bottle, but okay, can you guys see this little thing at the end, this little tip? So you shake it up and spray it, but it comes out of this little tip so that you can just like go down the root of your hair. You can take the tip off if you needed more coverage, like if you let your hair grow in a few inches or something, like many of us did during quarantining times and things like that. I, I know a lot of people got their hair um, pretty gray during that period of time. So you could actually kind of spray paint it all through your roots, but I like using this little tab just to get the little grays that are coming through and it's very precise. So if I just like see sometimes just like a little bit coming in here, I can just spray that area and it lasts until you wash your hair. So definitely a great thing to have. Way more pricey than I would normally spend on something like this. I don't usually spend a ton of money on just product in general, but I think this was like $28 or $26, something like that. But I don't think that I'm going to need to replace it very often because I'm usually pretty good about getting touch-ups done. But sometimes, or I should say most times, I have like a good week or two where it's really bad and I just am embarrassed to go out or see people or film things because I'm like really gray on top. So this definitely has come in handy and I am really glad that I invested in it. I have a bath product that I have really been enjoying lately. My girls got me into this, or I should say back into this because it's not new to me, and that is the Tree Hut Shea Butter Scrubs. 
why did I call it shea butter? <laughs> shea sugar scrubs. And I love this fragrance. It's called Exotic Bloom. And why I like it is because my girls have a lot of these in our bathroom. If you watched my Motivational Monday video where I was organizing some of our bathroom products, I think I showed probably like nine of these <laughs> in our shower. And they have seasonal fragrances. The peppermint, the candy cane one was really nice. I love the smell of peppermint peppermint but I didn't want to feature that one on this video because it's seasonal and I'm not sure if they're still stocking their shelves with that but this one is perfect for the spring and summer and it's called exotic bloom and the fragrance is not overbearing that's what I like most about it because some of these have a really strong fragrance and I am not about having overly scented products on my skin. I just don't like it. And I feel like it makes me itchy, even if I'm not itchy. Like I just don't, I don't know. I just don't like being overly perfumed with things. And this is a very mild, but fresh fragrance. And I like it a lot, but the sugar scrub is really, really effective. So this time of year, we all have really dry skin and I just really love to use it on my knees, my elbows, my feet, you know, my shins, just the areas that can become problematic in the colder months. And it's very um, exfoliating and moisturizing and I like it a lot. So just another fun thing that I've been enjoying for the month of January. Since we're talking about bath products, I have to share with you this bath caddy that I received for Christmas from my mom. I am in love with this because you can relax in the tub and you can have your book or your Kindle, which I've been using now in the tub. This way I'm not getting my pages soggy. And it fits soap, shampoo, conditioner, bubble bath, a candle, a glass of wine, a drink. It has so much space for so many things. So you can just settle into the tub and have like all of the stuff. So I really, really like that because I've never had it before. And I would always put a stepping stool on the side of the tub and I would have everything on the stepping stool and I would have to like reach over and lean for it and it just was so inconvenient and this is so convenient to have this bath caddy right in front of you everything's at your reach and most especially for reading in the tub I love just having the book or the kindle on a platform and you can just you know have this little thing that they have behind it to hold up the book so you don't even have to use your hands or get everything all wet and it's just been wonderful. So that is something that I think is really nice to have if you do not have one yet. Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna leave you with a couple of candles that I have been enjoying. And this one I actually received from my daughter Madison for Christmas, but I have enjoyed this candle for a very long time. I previously purchased one at our lake house and it is the Woodwick Cinnamon Chai. And the Cinnamon Chai fragrance is just so perfect for the fall and the winter. I just It's one of my favorite smells and I really, really love that it has the wooden wick so it crackles. I don't know if you've ever had these types of candles before, but you actually can hear it crackling and it just looks really, I don't know how to explain it. It's like watching a fireplace, <laughs> you know? It's just really, really nice. I enjoy these woodwick candles so much and the smell of the cinnamon chai is really, really nice. And then the other candle, which I'm sure everyone knows about this candle, but I have to talk about it because I used it throughout the winter months and I'm continuing to use it up, but it is the Sweater Weather from Bath & Body. I know this is a very popular candle and it just really smells like winter to me. <laughs> to me, it's just the smell of winter. I don't even know how to explain it. How do I explain this smell? It's just like a warm and cozy smell. It kind of smells a little bit, maybe like men's cologne, if I had to try to describe it in a way. Maybe a little bit of um, also the smell of a Christmas tree. And I don't know, it's just a really warm and cozy fragrance to have in your house through the holidays, through the colder months of the winter. We still have a ways to go before things warm up here where I live anyway. We're, we're only in February, so we have all of February, all of March, probably all of April or most of April, and hopefully by May we'll start seeing some like nice weather. <laughs> I mean like the weather that you don't have to wear a coat when you go outside. That's, that's what I'm waiting for. So 
I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of my favorites from the month of January. It was so much fun to share with you today. And let me know in the comments below what have been some of your favorite things. Please share that. I love reading the comments and I love um, hearing any feedback that you may have on some of the favorite things that I have really, really enjoyed over the past month. Let me know if you have used or tried out any of these products that I just spoke of. All right, that's going to be it for today. I hope that you're all doing well and keeping warm. And again, please subscribe if you're not subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you have been enjoying my content, most especially these favorites videos. I'm wondering if you guys are actually enjoying them or not. So that's a great way for me to know. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.